Hello everyone, welcome back to Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Today we are going to discuss what are the various ratios of transformer like current ratio, turns ratio, voltage ratio and transformation ratio. And we, we are going to also discuss why the rating of transformer is in KVA and why not VAT. Okay, so let's get started. There are four ratios of a transformer. The voltage ratio is the ratio of primary terminal voltage to the secondary terminal voltage. That means V1 upon V2. The transformation ratio is the ratio of secondary voltage to the primary voltage. How much secondary voltage we have with respect to primary voltage is known as transformation ratio and it is denoted by capital then we have turns ratio it is it is the ratio of primary turns to the secondary turns so n1 upon n2 will be the turns ratio then again we have this current ratio primary current upon secondary current is called as current ratio of transformer and this transformation ratio k is v2 upon v1 v2 upon v1 so we know that this e1 and e2 we have this E1 and E2 expression as E1 is equal to 4.445 F N1 and E2 equals to 4.445 F and N2. When we take the ratio of these two, we will get E1 upon E2 equals to N1 upon N2. So, when it it, the ratio is E2 upon E1, we will get N2 upon N1. Okay. And as, as V1 and I1 equals to V2 into I2 because the transformer is a constant power device. So, V1 upon V2 equals to I2 upon I1. So, we will get this expression which shows the relation between different ratios of transformer. Transformation ratio K is equal to V2 upon V1 equals to E2 upon E1 equals to N2 upon N1 and equals to I1 upon I2. This is required to solve numericals based on this concept. Okay. Then let us see according to the value of this K, this transformation ratio K, we have three different types of transformer. If the K is greater than 1, we call it as a step up transformer. Step up means the secondary voltage V2 is greater than V1. We are getting the more voltage at the output than the input which is called as step up voltage. That means voltage is increased here. When the K is less than 1, the transformer is called a step down transformer. That means V2 is less than V1. Here voltage is decreased from primary to secondary and when the k is equal to 1 it is called as 1 to 1 transformer or isolation transformer where v1 equals to v2 both the voltages are same neither voltage increased nor decreased that means only this is used for only isolation purpose from primary circuit to the secondary circuit okay according to the Transformer ratio K, we have this three types of transformer. Step up transformer, step down transformer and one to one transformer. Now, let us see the rating of transformer. We know that every device has its own voltage, current and power rating. If it is a load, we write its power consumption like V i cos phi. Suppose we have a bulb and it is of 40 watt then this will be its power rating okay 230 volt 40 watt that means this is voltage rating and 40 watt is your it is its power rating if it is a load and if it is a generator or uh, or the device which supplies power then we write its rating in terms of va volt ampere or kilo volt ampere or mega volt ampere like generator. In case of generator, we write the power rating as in, in terms of VA, KVA or MVVA. 
because we don't know uh, how much load is to be connected to that particular generator so we prefer to write their power rating in terms of this these three okay similarly for transformer also we know we don't know the how much load and which type of load is going to be connected to that particular transformer while designing so we prefer to write the rating in terms of va kva or mva so rating of transformer will be primary voltage into primary current or secondary voltage into secondary current because we know that v1 i1 equals to v2 i2 because this transformer is a constant power device so v1 i1 product is equal to v2 i2 product so rating of transformer will be in terms of either volt ampere kilo volt ampere or mega volt ampere okay if it is small size then it will be va if it is a very very large size then it is in terms of mva this is the example for a particular single phase transformer these are the specification mentioned on the name plate 3300 slash 240 volt 5 kva 50 hertz single phase transformer okay that means this 3300 is the primary voltage this is secondary voltage 240 this is the va rating of transformer okay this is the frequency f this is the apparent power 5 kva okay this is the frequency and it is single phase transformer in this way the rating of transformer is mentioned okay let's solve some numerical based on this rating and ratios of transformer the question is a 220 slash 110 volt 5 kva single phase transformer is supplied with 220 50 hertz ac supply find rated primary and secondary current okay let's write first given data here we have v1 as 220 volt this is v1 this is v2 v2 as 110 0 volt then this power rating as 5 kva okay and it is given that the trans single phase transformer is supplied with 220 volt 50 hertz ac supply that means primary voltage is this we want the rated primary and secondary current okay we know that the va rating is nothing but either v1 i1 or v2 i2 and we have this va rating v1 and v2 with us we want to calculate this i1 value and i2 value okay so first we will calculate the i1 so va equals to v1 into i1 so this will be v1 is 220 this va rating is 5 kva that means 5 into 10 power 3 and i1 so i1 will be 5000 divided by 220 we will get this value as 22.73 ampere okay this is the primary current value similarly find the secondary current value v2 i2 so this will be 5 into 10 power 3 equals to v2 is what 110 110 into i2 so i2 will be 5000 divided by 110 equals to 45.46 ampere okay this is the required i2 value this is the primary value and this is the secondary value in this way we can find the required parameters of the transformer from the given specification okay let's solve second numerical here a question is a 50 kva 6600 slash 250 volt transformer as 52 secondary turns calculate primary turns and primary current okay so first we will write 
the given data. Power rating is 50 kVA, so 50 into 10 power 3 volt ampere. Okay, K is for 10 power 3, and V1 is 6600, and V2 is 250. Okay, and 52 is the second returns. So, N2 will be 52. We have to find here primary turns and primary current. From the ratios, we know that V2 equals V2 divided by V1 equals to N2 divided by N1. So, we want the N1 value. So, this, this will be N1 value, N1 equals to V1 divided by V2 into N2, okay. So, it will be V1 is, V2 is 250 into N1 is equal to 52, 52. we will get this value as 1372.8. But these are the turns and turns cannot be in a decimal. So, approximately the N1 value will be 1373 turns. Okay. This is the required value of primary turns. Then we want primary current. Okay. So, Va equals to V1 into I1. Similarly, I1 equals to Va is what? 50. 50 into 10 power 3 divided by voltage V1, V1 is 6600, so I1 value will be 7.58 ampere, okay, this is the required value of primary current and this is the required value of primary turns, okay, in this way we can calculate. Let's take another example, here a 20 kVA, 3000 by 300 volt 50 hertz single phase transformer has 800 turns on the primary determine number of turns on secondary and maximum flux in the core okay so first we will calculate number of turns on secondary we know that we have this equation n2 upon n1 is equal to v2 upon v1 so we want n2 turns so n1 will this side into n1 okay so v2 is this is v2 this is v1 so v2 is 300 divided by 3000 into 800 equals to 80 these are the into number of turns we have the second is maximum flux in the core so we have this emf equation of the transformer 4.44 into f into phi m into n1 because we are writing the equation for e1 so we have this frequency 50 n1 turns these are the n1 turns then we have this e1 value is 3000 so from that we can calculate phi m is equal to e1 divided by 4.44 this frequency is 50 into this n1 number of turns it is 800 and this e1 value is what e1 value is given as 3000 so this 3000 3000 divided by this we will get 0.01689 weber and this is the value of maximum flux in the core with this specification okay in this way we can calculate the various parameters when we have this ratio equation of this ratio and rating of transformer with us in the next session we will continue with losses in transformer till then stay tuned and keep learning thank you